2018 Cup Series champion and current crew chief for Ryan Blaney announced this morning on Sirius XM that 2021 will be his final season as a crew chief and he will retire at the end of the season. This is a pretty big deal. Um, you know, we've got lots of driver switch ups and stuff. We've got lots of teams trying to add cars and stuff. But the crew chief thing, I feel like that there's... There's changes there like a couple years ago at Team Penske. We saw them do a complete switch of all three crew chiefs. We saw Todd Gordon, who was originally with Joey Legato. That's who he won the championship with in 2018. We saw Todd Gordon move over to the 12 car with Ryan Blaney. We saw Jeremy Bullens, who was Ryan Blaney's crew chief, go to Brad Keselowski in the two. And we saw Brad Keselowski's crew chief, Paul Wolf go to Joey Logano. So we've seen crew chief swaps happen before. We've seen crew chief changes, whether someone leaves, gets fired, or whatever. But I feel like it doesn't happen. It hasn't happened as much in recent memory on some of these bigger teams. But this is one that we do need to talk about today because of the significance of it. But Todd Gordon, as I said, the 2018 champion uh, with Joey Logano. He's been Joey Logano's crew chief for but prior to the 2020 season, he was Joey Logano's crew chief for quite a while. I want to say ever since Joey Logano got to Penske, he's been, uh, Todd Gordon's been with Team Penske since 2010. I think December 2010 is what the NASCAR.com article said. Uh, he's been in NASCAR for, he said, I think 23 years. So uh, yeah, we're going to, let's see what he had to say. It's just one of those things that you look at any life and there's several chapters in it. It's been an awesome run here at Team Penske and really, really happy and fortunate to have the opportunities that I've had here. But when you look at it going forward, this is my 23rd year down here in NASCAR and 10 years in the Cup Series and just made a family decision that this will be my last year sitting on the pit box. So that pretty much, that's pretty much it. I mean, he just said it right there. He's answered all of our questions. He said that he's gonna he's gonna be leaving the pit box uh, that it's a family decision, so I'm sure he has. A, that means he has a family. Uh, he wants to spend more time with his family because you know the Cup Series, they're gone for quite a while. I mean, obviously without practice and qualifying this year and last year, I'm sure he gets more time at home. But you know, even when they're not traveling and stuff for races, you know, he has to be at Charlotte. He has to be at the shop. He has to be with the team preparing the cars for the race weekend. Uh, he has to go to meetings, all that stuff. So. Even when he's home, I'm sure that he's not fully, I guess, I don't know if invested is the right word, but he's always busy, I guess, because NASCAR during the season is always busy. Whether you're a driver, a crew chief, a crew member, whatever it may be, your schedule is always busy, even when you are not traveling uh, to a certain track like Pocono or something. But uh, good for him. That's what I got to say for that. Uh, you know, family decision um it's good for him whatever makes him happy i think that's good but yeah obviously a big big change here in the cup series ryan blaney's gonna need a new crew chief as for who it's gonna be i have no idea i don't know the crew chief free agency list right now i don't know if they're just gonna bring up an engineer uh from team penske or some kind of some kind of other guy that's already in the team Penske organization. That would be my guess to who it would be. But he he does give some time for Team Penske to figure this out. It is currently June 28th. And uh, the season does not end until the beginning of November. So they have plenty of time to find a replacement. Uh, yeah, this is not... I saw some people asking on the internet. They were like, is this related to Brad Kozlowski leaving for Roush? Is he going to leave for Roush? No. I do not believe that that is the case. Uh, reading the statement here from Todd Gordon on uh, Team, not Team Pinsky, on uh, Sirius XM, it seems like that he is leaving for his own personal reasons. He wants to go spend more time with his family. But uh, yeah, Todd Gordon, uh, he's he's been a really good crew chief. He's got a ton of wins. He has 23 career wins in the Cup Series, along with the 2018 championship with Joey Logano. The majority of those wins coming with Joey Logano. He was also a crew chief in the Cup Series for Sam Hornish Jr., AJ Allmendinger, and obviously he is currently the crew chief for Ryan Blaney. But um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just talk about um, Todd Gordon. You know, obviously, as I said, he's been a he's been a force over the years with NASCAR. He's got to be, uh, 
He's going to be missed, I'm sure, by Team Penske. A major impact on that team. Helped that helped lead that team to many victories. Helped lead them to a title run uh, in 2018. So, you know, obviously they're going to remember him for his accomplishments and what he did, the wins he got. But uh, they are definitely going to miss him over at Team Penske. But now uh, there is going to be a search for who's going to be the next crew chief at Team Penske for Ryan Blaney and the 12 car and that 12 team. Who's going to be the new leader of the 12 team. I am not sure uh, if you guys have any guesses, go for it. But Todd Gordon, uh, he's going to be retiring this year. Good for him. I'm happy for him. Uh, it seems like he's going to get some more family time, so that's always good uh, for some of these NASCAR people that they're, they're away from home so much that they get some family time, they get some time to themselves. So uh, good for good for Todd Gordon. I hope he has a happy retirement uh, but yeah, now Team Penske is going to try to find a new crew chief for Ryan Blaney. But hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty short, but uh, that's all I have to talk about as of now. If something else breaks today, this week, we'll talk about it. I got some more videos planned. We're going to look at the playoff bubble. We're starting to get close to the NASCAR playoffs. So I got the point standings. We're going to look at the bubble, all of that fun stuff.